Hey guys! Happy Saturday. This is Zach coming at you live in my kitchen today with a cocktail based off of the movie All About Eve starring Miss Betty Davis. Um, it's a scotch, it's a, it's my take on a scotch and soda. Now, you're saying, you're probably asking yourself, well, Betty Davis didn't really drink scotch. She mostly famously did ads for Jim Beam whiskey. Yes, but the reason I'm making it a scotch drink is because at the 1963 Oscars, after Joan Crawford lobbied to accept awards on behalf of all actresses who couldn't, and won one for Miss Anne Bancroft, and I think it was the Miracle Worker, um, after the, the after party, the first thing Betty Davis did when she got it through the door was she went straight to the bar, poured a glass of scotch all the way to the top, and someone asked her, they said, what's that for? She said, oh, well, it's for Crawford. And, and they said, well, you know, Crawford doesn't drink vodka. Uh, I mean, you know, Crawford doesn't drink scotch, she drinks vodka. They, uh, Betty inf 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 infamously said, well, it's not for Crawford. I'm gonna throw it in her fucking face. <laughs> so, now I'm going to give you the recipe. This is a uh, scotch. You're gonna take a scotch and a glass of ice, fill it up to about three, count to three. You're gonna add some Meyer lemon thyme simple syrup. It's very easy. I'll give you the recipe if you ask nicely. Just a splash of that. You're gonna sort of stir it around in there best as you can. Mm. Top off with soda. Squeeze a Meyer lemon in there. Put a sprig of thyme in there. And you have got yourself the Margot Channing. Mm. So good. Now, on to the drinking game. This is where it's going to get very fun, and so fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Take a drink every time Addison DeWitt introduces somebody in the first scene in voiceover. Take a drink every time Betty Davis smokes. Take a drink every time Ann Baxter has those sort of awful, pitiful, starving child eyes that she has throughout the entire fucking movie, basically. Take a drink every time Betty Davis does that signature side eye that she always did. You know that look she do, like she's smelling a hot nutty turd and breathing somebody simultaneously, just like, I can't do it. Anyways, uh, take a drink whenever, every time Marilyn Monroe appears on screen, because that was one of her first on-screen film, uh, film appearance, uh, film appearances. Fuck, I can't talk today, Jesus Christ. Anyways, um, finish your drink when the line fastened your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy night, is said. This is a nice little smoke break, you know, if you want to take a smoke like Betty did, walk around your place, think, oh my god, what a dump. <laughs> Anyways, act two. You are going to take a drink every time Eve kisses ass, every time Eve tells a sob story, every time you see Max Fabian's fat ass drinking soda, uh, like a, you know, like the old school fucking Alka-Seltzer shit, um, every time a scene is set in a theater, every time Eve does some shady shit, every time Birdie says something smart assish but also very like sage like it was really bitchy but it was really smart um every time margo starts bitch bitching incessantly about her age i mean my god woman you just turned what 40 you're not fucking ancient every time betty davis just tells an entire story with her eyes i mean my god they wrote a fucking song about it betty davis eyes that bitch could tell a, a lifetime with just a look i love it uh, take a drink during the car scene where it breaks down with um, Karen and Margo because I love that scene. It's just so funny. Um, also, uh, take a drink whenever Karen is laughing her ass off at the restaurant after Eve, like, basically, um, what's that word? Manipulates her. Um, and then also take a drink uh, during the scene in which um, Addison DeWitt at the end just reads that bitch for filth, just fucking nails her to the wall. And then finally take a drink during the last scene where the poor little young Eve 2.0 comes in and starts tape moving in on Eve Harrington. The circle's just going to keep repeating itself. Well, you guys, happy Saturday. Sorry I got so tongue-tied, but it's been a little bit of a day. Cheers. See you tomorrow where we're going to do Silence of the Lambs.